Hello friends, today I would like to talk about the Revelations 22nd chapter in the Bible. The Bible says, from the throne of God there is a river of water, the river of life flowing from the throne of God. The water, the water, the living waters, the river of God flowing from the throne of God, the, the water of life, it is a water of life. There will be no, no curse for a Christian when he got saved, when he reached the kingdom of God. There will be no curse for us. No, nobody can curse us. As, as we can see, so many curses in the world. The satanic force is working through the world. People are uh, being the, the enchantments or divination or other, in other things. We'll not, be, we'll not get hurt there by any other sorts of enchantments or any other diseases in, his, in the kingdom of God. We'll be safe and we'll be drinking the river. We'll be with the river. We'll be given the river of God. The Bible says in the Revelation 22nd chapter, 17th verse, Let him who thirsts come to the water of life and drink freely. We can drink freely the water of life that God gives us. God is giving us the river of life. Now we can feel it in our heart. We, you, may be, you may be a person who has, who has lost to the utmost down to, in your life. You, will be, you, you, are, you may be a person who, are, who is rejected to the utmost down to the utmost, uttermost part in your life, you may be a person who is deeply down, depressed, depressed, and uh, uh, dis very depressing. And you, will, you may be a person of any kind of problem in your life. Jesus Christ gives you the living waters. G Jesus Christ gives me the living water of life freely. We can drink it freely, my friend. Jesus Christ gives us the water of life, living waters freely, so that our soul can be satisfied. Because God gives the gift for us in which our soul is satisfied. Every person in this world, he may have so many of riches, he may be a, a big star, he may be a movie star or any other thing, any other person, kind of person who may have so many huge fan following in this world, but he may not be satisfied in his heart because no one can be satisfied without the water of life which Jesus Christ gives whoever comes to, gives to whoever comes to him. If we come to Jesus Christ, he gives us the living waters. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ gives us the living water of life freely so that we can drink. Jesus asks in the Bible, in the John 4 chapter, Jesus asks a woman of Samaria to give water. He offers a woman a living water of life freely. It flows through him. Now, today, he offers us the living water of life by drinking it, we can satisfy our soul. There's nothing in the world. You can spend a lot of money. You can spend a crores of rupees in, in buy from your pocket. You can never satisfy your soul by doing that. There's only one way to satisfy a soul of human being is that by drinking the water of life, the living water of life, which comes from the throne of God, which Jesus Christ offers you today. And Jesus Christ, he offers me today. Let us drink the water of life so that we can satisfy our soul by drinking that, by that kind of satisfaction. We can live the happy life throughout the world, throughout the life, until our death. And after this death, Jesus Christ gives us eternal life. He rose from the dead. After his death, Jesus Christ, when he was crucified, he rose from the dead on the third day. In the same way, those who believe in Jesus Christ will be risen in the, again from the dead which is the promise Bible tells, Bible gives a promise. Jesus Christ gives a promise to everyone, whoever believes in him, even when he is dead, he can rise again. How to do that a person can live again through Jesus Christ by believing in him and by, and after that he go, he's going to take us to his kingdom and we will be in his kingdom praising him throughout generations. I hope I will be with you in his kingdom praising Him one day through all generations. Amen. Thank you.